Hey everyone, uh, I'm back and I have a few announcements slash apologies to make. First of all, I need to apologize for not making videos for so long. I was uh, at finals and then I was sick and holidays and it just all snowballed, but um, I'm here to make a video and I'm going to keep making videos and I'm actually going to just try to get on all the playlists as soon as possible and catch up to everyone else. Um, so... I'll be updating past ones, and yeah, um, not necessarily on Wednesdays, but today I am making one on Wednesday, and I will catch up and do new topics on Wednesdays, is my plan. So, the announcement I have is that uh, my name is no longer Keith, it is Will, uh, William, but I go by Will, and that is because I talked to my mom, and it was a long discussion, and there's a history, and I'll actually just discuss that in the posts in the uh, sorry video about uh, name changes so not today uh or not in this video but i will update that shortly and i'll explain that in detail but it will uh, for now on all right so gender dysphoria is the topic today um all right so i kind of categories categorize gender dysphoria into two uh different categories there's for me there's general and there's specific so the general gender dysphoria, I feel, is the overall feeling that I will never be a cis man and that my life will never be how I think it should have been. Um, and that's just general stuff. That's just every, pretty much every day um, feelings of, yeah, this isn't how I should be. And overall, my body doesn't match how I feel and all of that, um, and then there's specific dysphoria, so things specifically about my body that make me ex especially dysphoric. Um, so I would say the two largest ones are my chest and my genitals, uh, because they're the uh, sex and secondary sex characteristics. Um, you know, they make me obviously really dysphoric because they shouldn't be there. I shouldn't have a female chest and I should not have female genitalia. And it makes me really just work when I have to face that, which is every day because it's on my body. So that is very specific dysphoria. Other specific dysphoria um, traits I have. My voice, which is dropping steadily um, now that I'm on teeth. Uh, my face, even I think is uh, feminine or boyish, like too thick, thick young, not manly, um, even though I'm an adult. So hopefully that will change over time and I'll look a little more masculine and uh, older. My hips and uh, muscle mass, uh, height, just uh, most things. Now I'm just getting to general general stuff again. You know, just most of the stuff I feel that I, I am wrong in my body. And I know that will never fully go away, but by taking testosterone, it we gets rid of some of the dysphoria and by getting surgeries it will do the same so when I get top surgery I will feel better because I won't have a female chest and when I get bottom surgery I'll feel better because I won't have female genitalia and when I get a hysterectomy I'll feel better because those internal female organs will be gone and I'll be as close to male as I'll ever get I mean as close to cis male as I'll ever get and that will make me feel better about myself. But I know that dysphoria is something I'll have for the rest of my life. And it'll never fully go away. Alright, so there are ways that I cope with the dysphoria, obviously. Um, because I, I have a life and I go up and I do things and I go to school and I work and I hang out with friends. And I, I push past the dysphoria uh, most days in order to do stuff with my life. So what do I do to make myself feel better? I do something that will occupy my mind and my body or and or my body not always both um so this usually includes cooking because i love to cook especially for other people so but even just for myself so i'll make it with a nice meal and that'll take time because i'll have to focus on what i'm doing and i'll usually try to try a new i'll usually try a new recipe because then i'm not just you know, doing something I've done a million times and let my mind wander, I do something that I have to focus my mind on, and it keeps my hands busy, and it keeps me busy. Um, I work out just to the point of exhaustion, so all I want to do is lie in bed and sleep, and therefore I can't think about anything else. 
and working out makes me feel better because the endorphin rush and the feeling that I can do what cis guys can do, not always, sometimes it makes me feel worse because I can't do what cis guys can do, but usually the endorphins take over and it feels great. Um, what else do I, I really like to read, so I'll pick up a book and I'll read for hours and it'll totally immerse my mind, and while it's not occupying my body, my mind will be so distracted that I won't be doing, I'll be able to think about anything else because I'll just totally be into this book and into the story. Um, yeah, so to sum up, you know, gender dysphoria will never go away. It'll always be here. It'll always be here for me every, every day of my life. I know that. And sometimes it's better than more other days. Sometimes I barely even re realize. Some days it's so terrible I don't want to get out of bed. Um, whatever it is, I just hope you guys are able to cope with it and find things to do that make you feel better. If anybody has any questions, feel free to comment below or send me a message on Tumblr. Um, I'll put the links to my Tumblr down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.